Hey guys, this is K1 and I'm back with another short video. I think I will rename it Two Minute Monday because I cannot be really consistent with you guys and just, you know, promise you and break my promise again and again and again. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how I create a dramatic eyes uh, using Lightroom and Photoshop. They are both the same process, but some, some of my audience, they, have, they only have Lightroom. Some of you guys only have Photoshop. So you got covered. And without further ado, let's just jump to it. All right, guys. So first of all, we are in Lightroom and this is not the original image. Actually, this is the before. This is edited with Coda Film preset. Uh, the second one with a little bit of adjustment, obviously. So after you're done with color grading and the mood of your picture, obviously one thing that we focus the most on the model or the face of the subject is the eyes because pretty much it, you feel like she is looking at you and you're looking back. I think you really need to create some dramatic looks to it. So I'm gonna use adjustment brush. Uh, and what I do, I usually zoom in so much, you know, bring down the size of my brush. And then I paint the white part here. Okay, and make sure you click on uh, auto mask and make sure the flow is 100 and the feather is around 50, 45. And then I will add some exposure, okay? and then bring down the saturation. And the reason I'm bringing down the saturation because there's so much red in the white part area here, so it will kind of remove it. But obviously we're not gonna go with too much exposure. So something around 0.94, I think that would be good. And same for this, for the right side of the eye. And we're gonna go with the same flow and adjustment and number so it can look realistic because uh, this is more brighter uh, depending on the light we have, the natural light here, as you can see. The light, this is more brighter, so we should not have the same brightness on both eyes. So let's back and then create another one, and then this time paint over the surrounded circle in on the inside eye. As you can see, add more brightness exposure add a little bit of contrast bring down a little bit of the clarity and then do the same thing to the other side and boom guys before after and if you zoom back there is a huge difference before after before after now i want to go back this white might be too much so i'm just going to bring down the a little bit of a little bit of saturation but I'm gonna bring down a little bit of the exposure too. So to make it more realistic, I think this is great. Before, after. So you can take more time and create a better result with it. So this is what I do on Lightroom. And now let's jump to Photoshop and show you guys what I do there. A filter, camera roll filter. You can basically repeat the same process as we did uh, on Lightroom, but we're not gonna waste our time because it's pretty much the same. I'm gonna show you another trick which I do. I go create um, a new adjustment layer which is uh, hue and saturation. And then I bring down my saturation, as you can see. Okay. But then I'm gonna press Command and I or Control and I so I can invert the, uh, the mask. And then I can paint with white to bring back the mask on the area that I want to. So. Press X to change the color to white. And then make the brush very small around 20. And as you can see, the reddish uh, colors are going. Just have to be careful a little bit with it. All right, and now I create a new uh, adjustment layer, shift and backspace together, and then 50% uh, gray, 100 opacity, click OK. Then change the normal blend to overlay. Now uh, we created a layer that we can work on it and use dodge and burn. So I'm, in this case, I'm only going to use uh, dodge, dodge tool here. Make sure the exposure around 20 and then slightly paint around the circle eye and then do the same thing on the, on this side. All right. Same thing here. I'm gonna add more hue and saturation so I can decrease the redness on the eyes. And then I'm gonna bring down the opacity to the around like 35. So before, after, as you can see, 
a slight change but very effective uh, so this is pretty much what I do before after before after as you can see we decreased a lot of color in the eye and we gave it a very dramatic look to it so yeah guys this is it for today thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it go ahead give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos like this and if you want to support my channel you can go ahead and check out my store there is a lot of interesting essentials for your photos and videos so the link will be in the description also a free pack there so i mean you know just saying uh so yeah guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Cut.